Hello, this is Michael Trabin's RV Center here to congratulate you on your StarCraft Autumn Ridge 278 BH Travel Trailer. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration. On your off-camp side, no slides to worry about. I just want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. They're going to be behind your tires on your off-camp side. Docking station just above that. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. On your campsite, I'm just gonna wanna leave room for that on you. Plenty of room for that to come out. Once we arrive and unhook our hitch, first thing we do is level our unit. Then it comes with a power tongue jack. Night docking light should you arrive at night. Should be raised or lower until you're level. Underneath this rubber stopper, should you lose power, is a little button. A little hand crank can get on to get this up and down should you lose power. Speaking of power, check your battery posts every now and then. Make sure those haven't wiggled loose going down the road. Once we've got our unit level, the next thing we do is stabilize it. All four corners of the unit have these scissor stabilizing jacks. Three quarter inch hand crank or a drill gun. We're bringing this down rather quickly. Slow down when you get to the bottom. So remember, our units level. All we got to do now is bring these down just taunt to stabilize them. I recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and hot black top in the summer. Better distribute the weight. Just a really good investment. Uh, run these down just until you've got some resistance on your hand crank. Then you know you're taunt. Run all four of those down. We got it unit level and stable and we hook up our power and water 30 foot 30 amp cord plugs in here on the side let these go on here yes they go into the left probably about 11 o'clock turn it to noon and then put on this gray washer I'll lock that in there at the end of that 30 amp service should you need to plug into a 110 your convenience pack will be a 30 to 15 amp reducer Power hook up, took up our water. Show you what the front of this looks like. That'll be locked with a 751 key. Pop this open, swing this little handle down, and that'll hold that open for you. At campsites, we are going to hook up to city water connection. And we're gonna make sure our blue handle is pointing down for city. Then we're gonna grab our water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting lines in the unit. I always use this when putting water in the unit because you don't know what the water pressure is at different campsites. We have a little light here. Hook that up. Hook up your hose. But don't turn your hose on yet. Let's find your hot water heater. Here's going to be located over on the campsite. Rear corner. And all we're doing at this point, folks, is making sure our drain plug's back in. Get this cap on there, get that under nice and snug. Once that's on there tight, you know you can go ahead and turn that hose on. <clears throat> After that hose has been on for a few minutes, I want you to go inside and open up all of your water taps. Get all the air out of the lines, get a nice steady flow of water, shut them off, come back outside, lift up on your pressure release valve, if water comes out of here, you know your hot water heater is full enough to go ahead and turn that on from indoors. Now let's say we're going to go camping and we're not going to use city water. We're going to go dry camping or boondocking as they like to call it. In that case, we're just going to fill up our fresh water tank. First thing we're going to do is we come back over to our docking station. Take that city where it's ran there and move it up to tank fill. Once you got that up to tank fill, just above your furnace flue, there's your potable water, fresh water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. Simply use a hose. It's a little wet, hard, hard to open up here. Um, simply use a hose. Gravity fill this. There's two ways to tell when it's full. One, there's an overflow valve right there. Or on the inside where you check the levels of your black and gray tanks, there's a button Telling you your fresh water is full. Keep an eye on that while you're filling it. Don't leave this unattended while you're filling it. Once it's full, put your cap back on. And then whenever you want to utilize this water, 
you'll turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump when hooked up to the city water. That is already pressurized. All right, we're all set up with power and water. We'll go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit. Continuing here on the off campsite in your docking station. There's an extra 751 key in here. Spray port hose, the blue one, will connect to this for an outdoor hot and cold shower. Down here's your tank flush. We'll talk about that when leaving the campsite and dumping our tanks. Here's one spot you can turn on your water pump. We generally only turn it on out here when you are siphoning in water for antifreezing. Um, when you go to, again, down for city, up for tank fill, there's your city water connection. Cable TV connection. There's your black and gray tanks. Access to the back of your fridge. That is a vent for your microwave. This is the low point, low point drain for your freshwater tank. Again, a flue for your furnace. Two things on that. One, make sure it's never blocked. Two, if you are running it, steer clear of it. It does get hot. Big pass-through storage area here. Your propane does come on a regulator. Lefty Lucy to open, put it in the middle for the automatic crossover or point it toward the tank you wish to be using. Got a padlock to lock up your toys with. Solar ready, you can plug in a solar panel here and that'll trickle charge your batteries. Coming down to campsite, got a couple outdoor speakers, 110s. End cable. Let's put a TV out here. More storage. Your hot water heater. You got a ladder. Utilize it. Go up there a couple times a year. Check the seams of your roof and caulk as needed with the recommended RV roofing caulk. Last two items. You are prepped for a Furion backup camera up here. And then your main low point drain. Ah, right there. We'll dump them from inside when leaving the campsite. Well, covers everything out here. We'll take a look on the inside. Coming up inside the unit, first thing I always like to point out is your fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone that's camping with you knows the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway. Over to the right of that, behind your dinette here, would be your carbon monoxide propane detector. That is 12 volts, always running off your battery. So if you are out dry camping, boondocking somewhere, and you're going to be gone the entire day, Disconnect one of your battery posts up front. I don't recall seeing a battery disconnect. If there is, use that. But if there isn't, disconnect one of your battery posts while you're gone for the day. Otherwise, this will run your battery down. Immediately up to my left will be your awning control. Interior and exterior lights. Over here is where you check the levels of your tanks. There's your battery. Uh, when you're plugged in, that'll show full too. So fresh, black, and gray tanks. Here's where you can turn on your water pump when using the potable water. Turn on your water heater here if hooked to gas. Over here for electric, it does make a difference. So choose correctly on that. You got some one-touch lighting under here. Got all prepped for a TV here. Set for a mount. Cable of 110 up here. Uh, make sure when you run your digital channel scan that you turn on that red light. That's an antenna that will help you pick up more channels. We hear you got a sound system, uh, indoor outdoor speakers, outdoors, indoors or both, turn all them on, AM, FM, auxiliary, DVD, nice sound system, Jensen. Uh, a couple charging ports, smoke alarm here, uh, you got all your individual lighting in here on your bunks. You have a little bit of storage up underneath your bunk. Access to the water lines. When I say we're going to dump our fresh water lines, you're going to get up in here, lift up this bunk, and as you see right down there in the corner, you'll open up those uh, water lines there. Oh, there's your hot water heater. The kitchen is here, or your um, sink for your bathroom's here. 110 with GFCI reset there. Your bathroom, you do have a hand crank open, power exhaust vent, runs from here, 
excuse me, but you'll have to hand crank that open. Make sure you close that. And leaving the campsite. Your North Cold fridge. Turn that on auto. Auto means when you're plugged in, you're running off electricity. As soon as you unplug, you're on gas. Or go strictly gas. If that light is flashing, that means your gas is off or empty. In this case, it's shut off. Over here, you'll set it one through five, being the coldest. Microwave. Make sure that working real quick. Drop that. Below that, you got a light and a fan. There's all of them lighting up. Do you have a pilot light to light in here for your stove? Nice cover for your sink. Check your plumbing now and then. It's almost all PEX nowadays. As it is in here. But just keep, make sure nothing's wiggled loose as you're bouncing this house down the road. Uh, real quick, your tabletop will lift up. Remove these legs. Put your tabletop down onto this piece. Put your back cushions on top. That'll give you another sleeping quarters. This bed here will jackknife down. Lift up the front and lay it down for yet another sleeping area. And speaking of sleeping areas, our bedroom. You have a privacy curtain. You also prep for a TV in here. A little bit of storage underneath the bed. It's on hydraulics, that really helps. Emergency exit window. And that about covers everything in here. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up. I'd like to walk through, come over to my control panel, shut off all my lights, and I'm going to say doors and drawers. Walk through your unit as I'm shutting off all these accent lights. Close all your doors and drawers. Make sure nothing's going to bounce up and down as you're going down the road. Everything's secure. Your skylight in your bathroom is off. Get all of our accent lighting off. And exit the unit. Now, before you leave the campsite, lock and deadbolt your door. Lift and turn this handle. If we are out dry camping or boondocking, we're gonna come on around here and dump our freshwater tank. That's gonna be right to the right of your freshwater tank. And it's done. Bring up our stabilizing jacks, hook up our hitch, head on to the closest dump station or home. If we're at a campsite, unhook your power, your water, your cable, bring up your stabilizing jacks, hook up your hitch, and head on up to the dump station. Let the dump station park accordingly. Your dump's going to be on your off-camp side or your driver's side of your tow vehicle. In between your tires and the rear of the unit. When you arrive, you got 10-foot hose, comes your convenience pack. Hook that up and pull your black handle, your black holding tank on the right. When that sounds like it's no longer draining, go inside and check the tank. If it shows empty, come back out here. Leave that black handle open. Grab the hose at the dump station. Hook it up here to this black tank flush and let that run for a good five minutes again emphasizing with the handle open that's going to wash all that nastiness out of your black tank when that's done remove this hose make sure all that water you just put in there has drained close your black tank and pull your gray tank while your gray tank's draining again we're going to go inside you know, lift up your bottom bunk and open up them low point drains and drain them out if you're done capping for the season or just want to get some stagnant water out of your hot water heater Come on around here. First thing, lift up on this pressure re pressure regulator. That's going to dump water out of there, so be careful. When that's done, put that back down, otherwise your door won't close. And then pull your drain plug. Again, be careful, that's hot water. When that's all done, come on back around here. Close up your gray tank. Take your sewage hose and conveniently and sanitarily store it in your bumper and head on home again we thank you guys so much for your purchase hope you enjoy this autumn ridge for many years to come happy camping